The coffee is black. The robot is very, very frisky. <laughs> and I'd like to welcome you to the Monday, August 11th edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just kind of rants with a cup of joe. And I, uh, for the last couple blogs, I've been kind of covering the models that I build on my Bill's creation. Sometimes the, the models are complicated enough for me to have a second look at it so I can give you guys a, 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 better, uh, a better review of it. This uh, particular model, I first of all, right off the top, want to uh, thank Dark uh, Roxas 77. Uh, he, he was one of several uh, very uh, kind fans that have let me know about this model. Sometimes I, I find out about models uh, through, uh, through my viewers. For example, the other day uh, one of my viewers sent me a, uh, an email in, uh, in YouTube and said, Bill, you got to get this monorail. Well, I, I, I've been looking for a monorail. Uh, I couldn't afford the one he wanted me to get, but I did end up getting the monorail. So I wouldn't have had that except for a fan made a suggestion. So sometimes I find out about things through the fan base and I appreciate that. So thank you, uh, Dark Roxas 77 and others. Uh, this is a fabulous, fabulous set. The model itself is a Lego Batman 7888 and this is a mouthful guys the tumbler jokers ice cream surprise I don't know why they have these long titles <laughs> some of these uh, DC comic ones do um, 449 pieces and uh, you get three minifigs you get the Batman with a whole paraphernalia uh, selection of uh, batarams and uh, handcuffs and everything. You get the Joker. He's got a Tommy gun there, but I had a ray gun, or at least that's what I pretended. It. A ray gun that says bang, and what they called a henchman. The uh, the back of the box has a little cartoon, and uh, I, I love these these models that have cartoons, and. The, one, one, let me say one more thing about uh, about some of these models. This model here is more like a tank than any model that I've seen LEGO do. And one thing you need to know is that LEGO doesn't do tanks and they don't do military. And, and quite frankly it's, it's a very deliberate uh, ban that they have within the company, a company-wide ban that what they would not do military. But this is actually as close to a tank as you're going to probably get uh, with a Lego. It's a it's a stout vehicle. They're using these stickers, by the way, that are are see-through stickers, and they they work fine. They go on they go on smooth. I really love the interior of this uh, the, the cab on this uh, tumbler. Batman has his cape. There, there are there are windows. See, that's a window on each side. is a window, and I love the yellow. The, they have it uh, it done real well, and you can see, kind of see through that, but it, 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 the, those stickers are all clear in this set. The tires are uh, there's two in the front and then four in the back. Uh, th this particular uh, sticker here. It uh, it says bang. Now I've been reading the, the the Batman comic books, and the Joker has his gun. That he pulls the trigger, and out comes different things. Well, I decided that I needed to have an antagonist so that the Joker could be fighting them. So I pulled out out of my uh, my back lot, <laughs> Santa. Some of you were wondering why did you use. Christmas in the middle of August, Bill. Well, I celebrate Christmas all year round, guys. You, you ought to be lucky I don't play cur Christmas carols every time. Uh, <laughs> I, I do. I, I love my Christmas carols, and I love. But it was a great excuse uh, to have uh, an antagonist that I could play a Christmas carol with. <laughs> By the way, the Christmas carol was the Carpenters is one of my favorites. 
the Joker has a, a, a smirky smile on his face, and they're, they're, they've got these paddles, and I'm not sure, sure what they're all about. The bottom side of the tumbler is, is stout. I guess that's, that's the right word. It, it, this is a, a heady model. A heady model. He has two of these missiles where you, uh, I, I don't like them, that's why I don't show them, but you push it, you know, and it comes out. Th this one here is the is the main deal, and you pull it back, and it'll, see, it kind of goes up at an angle, and then has a little cubby hole there. These are uh, deflectors, I, I guess for armor plating. The, the the other attraction though is this wonderful 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 uh, Uncle Joker's ice cream surprise truck. I love this cone on the top. It looks almost good enough that you could eat it, lick it. <laughs> the stickers are way cool. Um, they have an ostentatious motor in the front, and yes, that's my uh, uh, engineer driving it. That particular sticker says Venom. This particular sticker, I'm going to try to zoom in, it's hard to see. You'll be able to read it on the screen. It's hard for me to read it on the, but it, it actually has writing below ice cream. So he has a Venom surprise, other kinds. The license plate says Ice Cream. <laughs> A graffiti sticker on the back at an angle says, I love Gotham. I mean, isn't this precious? This, this is a, a riot. The way you activate this, that's a missile. That's a surprise. You know, you, you, you pull this thing up. So see how the tail goes up and then it fires. And then the, the missile, it's just a regular carrier. The truck is made well. It's made like a city truck. Very uh, durable and uh, well designed. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm more than pleased with the model. Uh, it gets my highest recommendation. I will say one thing about the model. It's a very difficult build. And, and the reason it's a difficult build is because of the way they don't tell you what to do. They just have pictures. Like right here, you have a 13 and then a 14. Well, what's the difference? They look the same. Well, you, if you look real close, you'll see that there's something different between the two. And in this case, the only difference is there's a sticker that you put on down here. So you have to search and hunt. So, uh, the, you know, there's different. It's a challenge because you might miss something, guys. But it's a great model. Highly recommended. Bill and Red and a very, very feisty robot. Wish for you and yours to have a wonderful Monday ahead. Sayonara, friends. Sayonara.